let's look at this question. Cones are placed at uh, E, which is 0, 6. So your coordinate E, the coordinate of E is 0, 6. So this is your point E. Okay. And F, which is 3, 4. This is 3, 4, which is F. <coughs> Excuse me. Weave around the cones in such a way that an exponential curve is formed. You're weaving around these cones so that you start you start at a point one meter south of E. Okay, so each square is one uh, one meter by one meter, one meter to the south of E. So this is E, and you're starting at one meter south of E. And so the coordinate of this point is 0, 5. Okay, and always above the line y equal to 0. So this, which line is called y equal to 0? Well, the x-axis is called, or uh, this line, yeah, y x-axis is called y equal to 0. So you want to move, go in an uh, exponential curve. That means you're above this x-axis and you're passing through this point, which is 0, 5. So how will the graph look like? So if you're you are going at a hyperbolic, the shape would look somewhat like this. Okay, so try. let me try to draw as best as possible. This is going to infinity. And this is, this is a decay curve. So it goes like this. So this is what we want to draw. Okay. And you also, okay, I forgot this part. And you also pass through a point two meters to the left of F. So two meters to the left of F. Two meters to the left of F. Okay, so this is right and this is, yeah, so this is this point to the left. So this, the coordinate of this point is, this is 1, 4. This is 1, 4. So the graph, the sketch of the graph would look like this. It goes like this. Okay, and we want to write the equation of this exponential or it's a decay curve. So let me write the general form. The general form is, this formula would be given in your formula sheet. It's A raised to, I'll write X plus B. B can be negative plus C. Okay, now your Y value is always going to be above zero. So what does that mean? Well, that means your C is going to be zero because your Y, so let me write it, Y is always going to be greater than zero, which implies your C is going to be zero. Okay, so the equation is Y is equal to A raised to X plus B plus zero. Let me write plus zero in this step and I'm not going to write plus zero in the next step. Okay, so that means you can say your equation is Y is equal to A raised to X plus B. So now we have to find out what is A and what is B. So we have got two points, 0, 5 and 1, 4. We've got two points and two unknowns. So you can, if you've got two equation, you can form two equation, and then from that you can find the value of A and B. You can pause the video and try to do the rest yourself. So let me do it fast. So if you put this point, I can say phi is equal to A raised to A raised to B. That's your first equation. And if you put this equation, I can say 4 is equal to A raised to 1 plus B. 1 plus B is your second equation. So what can I do? I can do, say, let me do 2 divided by 1. I'm going to divide equation 2 by equation 1. So I can say A a raised to 1 plus B <coughs> divided 
divided by a raised to a raised to b is equal to what is a raised to 1 plus b? a raised to 1 plus b is 4 and a raised to b is 5. Okay, so let me scroll this down. So now using laws of indices, this is a raised to 1 plus b, take away b is a raised to 1 or a is equal to 4 divided by b, sorry, 4 divided by 5 is 8 divided by 10 or you can use your calculator. So this is 0 0.8. So which implies your A is 0 0.8. And it does make sense because it's a DK curve. So now we can say, well, your equation is Y is equal to 0 0.8 raised to X plus B. X plus B. So now we know you can put this value back here. So we can say 5. Again, we can put x, y as 5. 5 is equal to 0 0.8 raised to b. Now, here is where you have to use the log. Okay. So now taking log of both sides, I can say log of 5 is equal to log of 0 0.8 raised to b. So now using the log rule, so log of 5 <laughs> Using the log rule, I can say this is B log 0 0.8. And now dividing both sides by log 8. So log 8 and log 8. I can say B. So I need to use my calculator. So let me go to run. So log, log 5 divided by log of 0 0.8 which is negative 0 0.7 sorry uh, negative 7.21 in 2 dp or let me write negative 7.2 so your b is negative 7.2 and that's fine minus 7.21 if you want to write in 2 dp so this is in 2 dp so the final equation is, let me write the final equation here. So y is equal to, your a is 0 0.8 raised to x minus 7.21. 7.21. Okay, and let me confirm this. It's not exact, because you'll not get the exact answer because you're done in a uh, rounding here. So let us confirm the answer, go to graph, and type in the equation 0 0.8 raised to bracket x minus 7.21. Close the bracket, and here is a curve. So G sol, G sol, and y intercept. And this is almost 5, isn't it? 0, 5. And when x is, what's the other point? When x is 1, y should be 4. So g sol, when x is 1, y should be about 4. And this is 4. So our equation is right.